Hi everyone and welcome back to a new hands-on video by Mio Lessons. Last week I had a chance to see the new Luxia 21mm f2.8 lens for the Sony mount system at a press event in Cambridge. Unfortunately I didn't have time to record my speech during the event so that's why I now presented this video with a voiceover. Of course given the limited time I had with the lens at the press event this is just a first impression about it and I leave my in-depth analysis for the final review. So the Luxia 21mm is the third Luxia lenses for the Sony mount system and the construction is on par with the other two Luxia lenses. It has an all metal build, there's a blue rubber seals on the mount to prevent dust and water to enter. I found that the focus ring has been given some added resistance compared to the smooth focus ring of the two other Luxia lenses. However, the aperture ring moves more freely even with the clicking mechanism activated. I altered my aperture inadvertently a few times because of this. The aperture ring can also be declicked with a small screwdriver for video shooting. Of course the lens also has a distance scale so you can use the hyperfocal very easily. When you turn the focus ring you can automatically activate the focus magnifier. Of course you can also use focus picking and using it on the A7R Mark II with its excellent viewfinder was a real pleasure. The lens has the same diameter as the other two locks, but it's slightly longer. The fit to thread is the same. 52 mm which means that you can use the same filter for the three lenses. Overall the dimensions remind me of the 55 mm f1.8. There is a petal shaped hood that is included with the lens and it's made of metal. My only complaint about the lens is the same complaint I had with the other two Luxias. Basically there's a lack of space between the mount and the two rings and that's a bit of a problem when you mount or unmount the lens because you don't have a lot of grip on the lens but otherwise when you're shooting with it it's not a problem at all note that unlike the 45 mm and 50 mm luxes this 21 mm has a brand new optical design it's a distagon design so I had the chance to shoot with a, for a couple of hours with it and unfortunately it was a cloudy day so I couldn't test some aspect like for example the flare resistance but so far I do find the performance very good. There is some bar distortion but keep in mind that uh, when post-processing the images with large room the lens profile wasn't available yet. However it can be easily corrected also manually. Sharpness at the center is already excellent at f2.8. Uh, of course given the wide angle nature of this lens uh, achieving bokeh is more difficult but uh, you can focus as close as 25 centimeters and I have to say the results are not bad. Sharpness in the corners at close apertures seems really good uh, especially from 5.6 so the overall optical quality looks promising. So this is a quick hands-on video about the Luxia 21mm. For now my impressions are positive. Also what I like is that the form factor of the lens is just perfect for the A7 series and that's actually one of the aspects I like the most about the first two Luxia lenses as well. Uh, the diameter fits the mount perfectly, therefore there are very nice lenses to use with it. So thank you for watching and be sure to follow me on lesson.com for a final review that I hope will come very soon. Bye bye, see you next time.